And welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Resident Evil 2. I'm the Leviathan, and let's continue on to the game. All right, so, last left off, Claire and Leon meet each other. They go to the police station, or they blow up, shit happens, and then, oh, boom, that's where they are. Now we're at the police station as uh, Leon because they got separated. So, all right, what we got here? Police Miranda. 8-23-1998. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with four-digit lock has been moved from the star's office on the second floor to the eastern office. You want to know what it is? It's 2236. On the first floor, 2236. Raccoon Police Liaison Department. Look at that fucking memory. I'm hurt too, by the way, but that's fine. Um, put that away, put that away, and yeah, that's basically it. Damn it, I keep on pressing start instead of triangle, and I... Alright. So... Resident Evil... If you don't know Resident Evil... Oh, God, what was that? Oh, uh, that, that was another enemy. Um, you don't want to shoot everything you see. This game is about, like, if, you, if it's in your way, if you have to kill it, or if it's like a boss, kill it. But if you can dodge it, for the love of God, just do it. The head is missing. It seems to be twisted off. Gross. Will you take the H-gun bullets? I sure will. What? Oh my god. Well, that's gross. See, if the asshole didn't gasp, you want to know it. Look, it's fucking Gene Simmons. Yeah, do me a favor. Run by this prick hole. Grab this herb, grab the herb, oh god, oh god, grab the herb, grab the herb, grab the herb, run away, run away. Oh, you got me anyways, it's fine. You got me with one little tongue lashing. Normally I'd like a tongue lashing, but not in that certain circumstance. Now, did he put me on orange caution with that shit? No, I'm still good to go. But like I was saying, Resident Evil 2, dodge. Dodge that asshole, dodge all the assholes. If you can dodge the assholes, for the love of God, just do it. Because if you don't, you're gonna run out of ammo, and... It's gonna suck. Want to see some skills? Want to see some skills? Want to see some skills? Look at skills! Yeah. God, I love this game. Now, any season Risen Evil um, player will tell you is you gotta have a sort of well, at least with me. Oh, there's handgun ammo behind her if I can remember correctly. Yes. Um, is you always want to be well? Maybe th this just may not be Resident Evil, but this is me. I always want to have at least two steps ahead. Like right now, I'm thinking of what to do two steps ahead from what's ahead. You don't want to be doing what you're doing as you're doing it. Oh, you prick, 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 get in there. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure you... Yeah, I just want to make sure you're doing what you're doing. So even though we have a shotgun, double shotgun... Which kind of... See, the reason why they gave you that is if you decided not to pick up the shotgun um, from Robert, if you were trying to go for the whole route to... Uh, I think there's handgun ammo behind here. Now, I'm going to try to get all the secrets, too. I'm, I'm going to show them to you. Secret number one. If you search this desk 50 times, you will find a film with something on it. So, for lack of a better time, you have to search this 50 times. But I'm going to cut it until it actually goes to it. So, you don't have to see me do this 50 times. So, hold on. Finally, shit. God, that was like, I don't know if it was 50 times, but it was too many times I wanted to do. Uh, I always hate being on caution. I always hate it where I'm like, holding myself is just like, I feel really bad. Chris's diary, August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-Virus research in that mansion. Anyone affected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in an explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variant of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We've talked it over, and have decided to fly to the main HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip. Doing so will put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Now, 
it does put her in danger because upon finding this, Leon gives it to Claire. Claire finds out she goes there. He goes there. She ends up going there, and that's how Resident Evil Code Veronica happens. So thanks a lot, Leon. You're an asshole. Well, Claire's an asshole too for going there. So and finding it because you would have found it to Claire anyways. Ooh, a unicorn medal. Leon. Claire. It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. Aww. See? Resident Evil Code Veronica X? I'm playing that. This is how it happened. Right here. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. I like how that since Let's they can't split up, look for any survivors and get out of here. Right. <laughs> One last One thing. word. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. I always like it in older games where they can't have the mouse moving, so they have to like express and convey their feelings using hand gestures. I do that shit too. Uh, but all right, well, no, we got what we needed. Oh, normally a file comes out of that fax machine, but guess not this time. All right, so unicorn metal, Jesus, um, unicorn metal. We need need to get a couple of things along our way back. Uh, first real puzzle of the game. It's not a puzzle at all. It's really statue to statue. Just move the shit. Uh, move it, Leon and Christ. Like, who would do this? Now, the Resident Evil lore, or if you didn't know about this, is this police station used to be a museum. Um, well, based on the artifacts, you can kind of see that. It's, it's the most weird shaped, fuck, not shaped, uh, police station I've ever seen. But if I ever had, like, an, like, an infinite amount of money, maybe not infinite, I would recreate this place, but with a little bit of a modern touch-up for it to be, you know, turn of the age, because this is 1998. Isn't it weird that Resident Evil is, like, seriously, God, it's almost, like, 20 years old. It's old as dicks. Like, I remember, it doesn't feel that old. I feel old. I'm 25. Now, when I used to play this game when I was friends, uh, when I was younger, I get a little gem. Why I couldn't just pry that out of my hand or shoot the statue to get it? Beyond me. So, got a you know, red jewel. Hmm. Thinking. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. To make myself feel better and pick up the next object I need. Ah, so oh, fuck me. Well, still put me on caution. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. I'm gonna use a shotgun shell. Just for the sake of clearing out a lot of these zombies in this hallway, because I want to get to the save room back there, because there's ammo and there's two uh, green herbs that I want to collect. So, if I can get two of them in one shot, come on, dickheads. Come on, dickheads. Come on, at least two of you. At least two of you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh gadoosh! Okay, now can I get these two? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, well that's one. And I'll just shoot. God, I keep on hitting start. And I'll just hang on this one. Why not? Go down, bitch, bitch. Are you dead? Okay. Ooh, I cleared out that hall. Now there are two herbs here. Nice, nice, nice. I'm only going to grab one. And I'm going to use one. I'm not going to use a mixed herb. Okay, there's a lot of herbs in this game. And I'm going to pick this up and put it in this item box. Because I am an herb whore. In the sense I pick them up. But there'll be someone that I leave if I know I'm gonna be coming back and forth through a, uh, through a um, through an area a lot. It'll be good. All right. So I believe there is right here. Yeah. Hang on, ammo. Now, if you would have went the way um, I had told you about and didn't pick up any items, if you would have went under the police station, like we're, when you went into the first before you went to the police station, you can go under the stairs behind it. Brad Vickers is a zombie. You kill him. You get a special key. You go here, and like it says, it's locked. Special key. You get a, a different gun and different stuff like that. I think, oh, something to read. Sweet. I love to read. Operation Report 2. Operation Report, September 28th. Early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct under ground to the sewer disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through in there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know we know our s chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. 
In order to buy more time, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left a key behind in the western office since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and lock the door. I pray that the operation report will be helpful to whoever finds it. Recorder, Elliot Edward. Hell, I didn't even get operation report one. Did I? I don't remember. Uh, Alright, I'm going to put this away. And uh, I'll put it one of these away. Um, for now, I suppose. Alright, so we ha I'm so used to being able to do the quick turn command. That's They don't have that in this game, which kind of sucks. Um, Alright, let's develop some film. Now, you don't have to do this. This is just for the fun part of the game. Um, just like to show a little aspect of it. Look at that. Rebecca Cham- Recruit. That's Rebecca Chambers. Now it's locked in Captain Wesker's desk. Why is that in Wesker's desk? It's be fucking beyond me. It probably jerks off to it. I don't want to think that, but we're all thinking that. But yeah, let's continue on and get this unicorn medal to where we need to do it and all that jazz All the zombies are dead, which is good. Good, 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 good. Now, gotta watch out for the zombie hands. Yeah, that shit used to scare the hell out of me when I was younger. Granted, it doesn't do any damage if they grab you, which is nice. But, uh, ooh. Operation Report 1. I probably should have read this first. Operation Report, September 26. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. See, everybody knows what zombies are. Many have been injured, even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of recruiting any possible survivors as well as prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made all the decision to relocate all the weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely dangerous or difficult for us to locate any ammunition caches. If it has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions, to unlock the weapon storage. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapons storage. Unfortunately, the person in, in charge of the card key used to access the storage room is missing and we have been able to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It's become a top priority to restore the power to the, in the power room and secure those locks. Recorder, David Ford. Oh my god. I'm not reading through all this. I'm just going to stop and you, and you just read it. Liquors. Explain liquors. That's how they got the name. Sorry, I'm running out of fucking saliva. So basically, we read the second one before the first one, and we got to read the guy who's going to die. Now, in here is where we get our second little dooley bob. Now, luckily Leon has a lighter. For what reason? He doesn't seem like a smoker. I don't see any smokes in his inventory. But uh, yeah, lights that shit up, and we got our second little Jimmy Jilly gem. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be some, uh, there should be some ammo back here. Oh, yeah. Now, in this game, you can only hold 250 in a slot. Resident Evil Code Veronica X didn't know you couldn't do that. You can have more than that, which is good for me. Because, yeah, just, uh, just don't want to do that. Oh, God, more hands. Ah, oh, they didn't get me, son of a bitch. Good, good, good. We are making our way very well with this. And that's good. Lock, don't worry about asshole, you can run around him. Yeah, I'm faster than you. Yeah. Alright. Thinking, thinking, thinking. See, like, they should make, in games like this, they should make, like, Leon is silent as fuck the entire game. I'd be making a lot of noises like, what the fuck is that? You know, I'd be freaking the fuck out and shit. Him? Nah, he's, he's silent as a lamb. The only time he ever... Silence lambs. The only time he ever makes noise is when freaking he... Uh, gets hit. Or has a conversation with Claire. Which doesn't happen that often in this game. Maybe it happens like maybe a total of four times. Um, but I digress. Random key. Which is... 
It is the, uh, it's a club key. Or spade key, rather. But, uh, I'm out of time for this video. So, in the next episode, we are going to continue on and find out where this key goes and try not to die and <laughs> whatever you do in a police station full of zombies and monsters. But until then, until then, guys, thanks for watching.